Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the first week in our life with our puppy. If you didn't see my last video, I did a whole vlog of us going to get Teddy and meeting him for the first time, which was so, so sweet. And if you guys want, I made a little Instagram for him. So if you want to follow him, you can definitely follow him over there. I don't want to spam my Instagram with all this puppy content because I feel like people might not care. So if you want to be spammed with puppy content, go follow him. So today is Monday and we got him on Saturday. So I didn't vlog yesterday just because we needed a break. Our first night with him was a little rough. He cried the entire night. We are crate training him. That's his crate over there. He did not like it at all but last night he did so much better he didn't cry about getting in the crate he fell asleep right in the crate he only cried when he needed to go to the bathroom which was so good okay i'm gonna put him down we probably got up like once every hour to an hour and a half which is much better than the night before this morning we just took it slow and sam is actually cooking eggs in the kitchen right now but he is doing that weird shift again at work where he works from like two to 10. So this week we'll have all of our mornings together, which works out perfectly with having a puppy because I feel like we'll get to enjoy him together more rather than him like, you know, going to the office right away and all of that. So today, this morning, we are actually taking him to his first vet appointment. But yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along on our first week. Forgive me if I'm kind of tired because like I said, we've been getting up like all throughout the night letting him out. So it feels like having a child, I'm assuming. I've never had a baby, but it's kind of what it feels like. We're gonna eat some eggs real quick for breakfast and then we're gonna head to the vet and hopefully he does well. Her reflection. Get it. Ready to go to the back? Okay, we just got back from the vet. Mm. And wonderful experience. I mean, the doctor was very great. He answered a lot of questions for us. So, our little teddy guy has anemia and he had some parasite as well which he said that was common when they are coming from a litter because there's other puppies and it comes from like the mixing of fecal matter. That was a little stressful, but the doctors weren't concerned or anything and I'm sure he'll be fine. I just get so anxious about like that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go pick us up some lunch and Sam is gonna start his work. Mm-hmm. Which kind of stinks. And then I'm going over to my friend's house today. I also didn't mention that it's Halloween. So we're gonna give out candy tonight. Ooh. And it's gonna be really, really fun. Sounds like fun. I just got back from meeting with my friend. I went over to her house and had coffee because I haven't seen her house before, so that was fun. We just caught up and it was just some good girl time. And now I'm back home, it's six o'clock. And Sam is on a call right now. Like I said, he's working his shift uh, this week. It's not even a shift, but it's like, I don't even know how to explain it, but every quarter he has to take one of them and he works from two to sometimes 11 o'clock at night. So we have leftover chili from last night, which was my plan because I feel like chili is the perfect thing to eat on Halloween. Maybe it's because growing up, my aunt would always have us all over to trick or treat and to have chili. Um, so I'm really excited to do that. And I just put all the candy I bought into a big bowl and we'll see how many trick or treaters we have. I might turn on like a Halloween themed movie. I definitely don't do scary movies, but I'm kind of thinking like maybe a childhood movie, like a Disney movie that I loved. Like maybe Halloween Town or Hocus Pocus. I haven't seen those in years, so I'd be curious to watch them again. Guys, I was handing out the candy when kids would come to the door. I probably had like 30 kids come and then Teddy woke up from sleeping. So I was like, okay, I got to take him out really quick to the backyard. So I put the candy bowl out front. I take him outside real quick to pee. I come back up. It's gone. This thing was halfway full when I set it out there. So some kid must have just taken all the candy. I am, I'm so upset. Like, you who know who that? you are. 
Come forward and there will be no ramifications. But if you don't come forward, then we also can't impose ramifications. So regardless, we can't do anything about it, is what I'm trying to say. But I hope the guilt lives with you. <laughs> Sam wanted me to go to the store and go buy more. Which I still think you should do. I am, but I'm like, it's after dark. And I did have like 30 kids come. And I took a peek outside. There's not that many kids left. I know. And it's late. It's dark out. I don't want to go out and drive. So Teddy is back asleep after he played for a little bit. So I thought I'd be watching a movie out here alone. So my Disney movie plan is no longer happening now that it's both of us. Because Sam doesn't really want to watch a Disney movie with me. Babe, I'm going to put on a Halloween movie. Wait. No. You the Dad, whole come that's Let's go to Disney Plus. Scary movie. No. Thriller. No. What? So instead, we're going to watch the new show, The Watcher. We don't know anything about it, so it could be one of those shows that we just have to turn off. But I've heard it's really good, so let's see if it is. It is Tuesday. I had quite the morning, as you can probably tell. Maybe not. I just got my hair cut. I needed a trim so bad. So this is what it looks like. Just touched up my layers and things of that sort. And my appointment was at 8 a.m. And I just was out of it this morning. And it's probably because, you know, up all night with puppy. But he did pretty good. I feel like he went maybe an hour and a half every hour and a half needing to go to the bathroom. But anyway, I'm so happy to get back to him. And I hit traffic this morning. I was a little stressed to make it to my appointment on time, but I was just like 10 minutes late. If you guys have followed me for a while, you probably know that my aunt has always done my hair. I've always been scared to like go get my hair done by anybody else. I just don't trust a lot of people. So when I moved to Atlanta, I was like, I really need to find somebody. You know, I can't travel four hours to go get my hair cut. So I found a girl, her name is Taylor at L and Co. So if you're local to Atlanta, it's in like Roswell area. I really would recommend her. She's my first person that I ever let do my hair. I didn't dye my hair because I wanted to see how she was with a cut and just like what I thought. So I feel like she's definitely going to be my go-to girl. And it turns out we go to the same church. Isn't that crazy how things like that work? So today, this was the biggest thing on my to-do list. And I never really gave a rundown of the week. So I'll tell you guys like what's going on. So obviously, I have the everyday stuff with like work and things like that. Then Sam is on his swarm shift. So it's going to be a chill week on Thursday. We're going back to the vet again and um, we have our typical small group and things of that sort I didn't have small group last night since it was Halloween and next week we have a photo shoot on Monday uh, for our Christmas card and I wanted to get pictures with Teddy for our Christmas card and then I think I'm gonna announce on Instagram today that we got a puppy I haven't done that yet like you guys don't know that we've had Teddy for like five days now I just like to keep things private for a little bit and then share but that's definitely why I'm absent on social media I feel like I haven't posted in days but anyway I'm gonna head back home and we'll see what the boys are up to okay I just made it home and I just put on a little bit more makeup because we are going to take pictures with Teddy Teddy is downstairs in the basement with Sam right now I'm gonna get this set up and we'll take some photos oh what happened <laughs> it is much later in the day it's actually six o'clock and I just Got some editing done, but the fun thing is, is that we just posted about Teddy and all you guys are so, so sweet. I still don't know what we're gonna do for dinner. We both ate a really late lunch. Sam is working away over here. Working hard. Teddy is right there, asleep. Say good morning. Good morning. 
it is probably like nine something I am just going to talk with you guys while I get ready so I have felt so off I think I just get this way anytime there's some change happening and I feel like I just haven't been in my routine like I haven't gone grocery shopping I haven't done my quiet time in like three days and I just feel like I have no routine which I think is making me feel kind of on edge so Sam is downstairs with Teddy right now and he's letting me like get ready I watched Teddy while he got ready it literally feels like a child I just felt really off yesterday so I was like you know what today I'm gonna do my normal routine I'm gonna get ready and do my quiet time I think that will really help me feel like I'm doing something and I need to get work done today I worked a little bit yesterday so today I'm going to actually go to a coffee shop and edit and Sam is going to actually head over to where we got our wedding rings because if you follow me on Instagram then you know I accidentally dropped his ring into the lake and so he hasn't had a wedding ring ever since the summer so we're finally going to go get him another wedding ring he's going to get the same exact one i was so sad when i did that i'm going to leave a little bit after him and then i'm going to put teddy in his crate and then i'm going to leave and head to a coffee shop so we're going to aim that teddy is in his crate alone for an hour we're really trying to not be home with him all the time because then he'll get like separation anxiety and we want him to be able to be okay being alone so we need to leave him alone a little bit at a time we left him alone at church on sunday so he was fine with that and if you're wondering about any of the products that i'm using i've gotten a lot of new products in my routine that i love i actually posted about them on my instagram um in a story highlight i think it's in my links highlight but i posted a morning routine real and i'll also have all these products linked down below especially this mascara from thrive cosmetics it makes your lashes so long i just got back from working at starbucks i stopped at target and at the grocery store and that was kind of a bad idea because I didn't have a grocery list and I'm also so hungry. So I got so much stuff. But tonight on the menu is going to be lemon chicken with pesto spaghetti. And then I was really in the mood for whipped ricotta and honey on top of little tiny like bread pieces. What? Is my puppy awake now to say hi to me? Hi. Hi, you boobies. Oh, stretchy, stretch, stretchy, stretch. Now Teddy has woken up, so I'm gonna take him outside to go to the bathroom. And I'm also gonna be making him chicken and rice since he doesn't have much of an appetite. Are you ready to go outside? You got some yogurt on your nose, buddy. Yeah, you got it all over you. on <laughs> sorry <laughs> and we're just gonna sit here and chill sam is still working of course because still work. it's only eight o'clock it's getting so dark out and it's messing with me i feel like it's 10 p.m because you know in the summer it stays light until like eight but i guess we're not in summer anymore i guess christmas is almost here had a long day that wasn't all that yawn. I was just it's being seeing how long you would excessive. Yeah, shocker. Where's the little guy? I wish I could just like yank him from I underneath know. the Again, couch. Teddy is sleeping. He sleeps so much. Yeah. I kind of forgot how much puppies sleep. And then Sam looked it up, and it was like puppies sleep up to twenty hours a day. I'm like, yeah, that's probably him. Literally. Eighteen to twenty. Eighteen to twenty. I believe he's he's doing that. <laughs> We're gonna chill. Cozy work night. Cozy work night. <laughs> oh. Say something that will make my day. Cause these memories of her won't go away. They're
wanting me so I can't sleep. She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep. Cause she left me here alone. Now my bed feels just like cobblestone. Oh, oh. Happy Thursday. Today I'm actually going to watch my friend's baby. So it's pretty early in the morning. It's like 8 o'clock right now. And he did so good last night. He only woke up twice in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, which is insane. So I'm about to head out. I'm going to put him in his crate. And Sam is at small group right now. So he'll be home in like 30 minutes. So he won't be in the crate for long. But he did so good in the crate yesterday. I feel like he's really enjoying it now. Um, so I'm going to head to Starbucks on my way to my friend's house to go watch her baby and then I'll be back this afternoon. Right? I just got back from babysitting and I was expecting a warm welcome from my buddy, but he's asleep under here. Sam is working hard over here. Mm -hmm. It's so funny, we, we work so different. Like when I'm working, I want all the natural light I can get and you close all the blinds. Yeah. Oh, did you get your haircut? Let me see. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here trying to get my video to upload. Normally I upload around 12 o'clock on Thursdays, Eastern Standard Time, but for some reason it's not uploading. I don't know, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. So that's a little frustrating because it is three o'clock. I have to leave at five to take Teddy to the vet today. And then I'm going to drop him off and go straight to group. Sam can't go to group because he's working like he has been this whole week. So that's the rest of my day. My Thursdays are always really, really busy because it's the day all my content goes live. I usually babysit. And then on top of that, we have small group at night. Okay guys, we are at our friend's house this morning and Teddy's gonna meet our friend's dog, Knox. We watch him all the time and they're gonna be best friends. He's really sleepy. He's been trying to sleep the whole car ride. Hey, you're on the seatbelt. You're on the seatbelt, there you go. Wow, I didn't think he shed yet and there is definitely dog hair everywhere. playing with our friend's dog, Knox. They were so funny together and so cute. At this point, I feel like they already know Knox, though. Yeah, I'm sure that you guys have seen Knox. He's been in many, many of my videos because we dog sit him a lot. Um, so now we can't wait to dog sit him and have Teddy. They'll be like best friends forever. I didn't get their first initial meeting. Teddy was really scared. He like came and crawled under my legs, but then he got more and more used to him. And then by the end, they were playing around because he's the first dog that we've introduced Teddy to. Just because of like, you gotta be careful if the dog has been vaccinated or not because he doesn't have all of his vaccinations yet because he's so young. So we know Knox's parents well enough that he has all of his vaccines and everything. And he's a really well-trained dog. So we knew he would be a good dog to introduce him to. But we just ate pizza for lunch. I had different plans for today. I was planning on getting some work done, but I don't know how plausible that's gonna be because the house is kind of a mess and it's stressing me out. Um, I just feel like nothing is in its right place. Like we just have stuff everywhere. And part of that is because we have a dog now, so there's new stuff. So it feels like it's not clean because I'm not used to having like a dog bed on the floor and a crate out and things like that. But I'm just gonna try to clean it up as much as I can. We've got laundry that needs to be done. We'll probably watch some TV and have a really chill afternoon. Come here, look at your cute bobby facey or cutie face. He's already grown so much since we've gotten him, which makes me so sad. You need to stay little forever.
Ready, sit. Oh, good boy. Sit. Ready, sit. Sit. I just finished training Teddy a little bit and he did really good. We've decided to use the clicker just for like consistency, but now I'm cutting a lemon because I want to know what his reaction is to a lemon. I remember giving it to my family dog and that was like the funniest thing ever. So we're trying to decide what to do for dinner. I feel like we've eaten out more this week than we have. Ow! Squeeze my whole bicep. I mean, it's not that big, but still. We have eaten out more this week than probably we did the entire last month. Mm. But I've just had a hard time adjusting to literally taking care of a child. You're, You're a, child. a child. You're our child. He thinks he runs this house though. You're our sure. child though. I think we're just gonna do hibachi in a movie. He does not want to be held right now. Yes, he does. And then maybe next week I'll get off to a better start with <laughs> getting groceries and getting back into a routine of things. Okay, I just ordered our hibachi and I'm about to serve Teddy dinner. So whenever we feed him, we try to get him to sit, to stay, and then whenever we say free, he can eat his food just to kind of, I don't know, help train him a little bit. Uh oh, he's right here. He doesn't need much because I've given him three meals today, so we'll just give him a little bit. I've also been mixing in his dog food with the human food so that he doesn't expect chicken and rice all the time, but this is just until he gets his appetite back. Stay. We are sitting down with our hibachi. We're gonna start a movie. Sam's gonna work while we watch. I feel like this whole week has been so different than I expected. Yeah. I know this sounds really obvious, but having a puppy is really hard. And I didn't expect it to be, I probably should have prepared myself. Like I didn't watch any videos prior, like meaning like any of these kind of videos like a week in my life. So I feel like this video is very realistic maybe not as entertaining as I was hoping it would be. Who knows? But we're gonna sit here and enjoy our hibachi, watch a movie, cozy up, have a nice chill night. So we're gonna enjoy our dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Teddy, you wanna say goodbye to them? I know we're gonna watch this and whenever he's so much older and be like, he was so little. And I'm so glad that we documented it all. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.